The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, and cut stone and clay. Luckily that these are plentiful in Skyrim, in fact most building sites will have one or, or more easily accessible sources of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill owner will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. You need a lot of nails, unfortunately even a novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease. When you turn to fur when you turn to furnishing you, you com your completed house, you'll need a much wider variety of materials. Some of them, such as straw and glass, are commonly obtained from general goods stores. For the rest, the whole of Skyrim will cover your general store. Hiring a steward. Once you, your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable, from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow to keep giving you supply with building materials. Freeing you to enjoy the fruits of your labours. Before hiring a steward, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are good, a good fit for your requirement. Remember, you are putting your entire state into their hands. You need someone you can trust implicitly. Implicitly, I can't read that. Uh, building your house. The rest of this guide will review plans for each room that you might want to build. Small house. Before you get too ambitious, gain confidence by building this tidy cottage. It is a perfect st starter home and might turn out to be all, all you need. But don't worry, if you decide to keep building, you can remodel this into an entryway to the rest of your house. Main Hall You may decide that the small house is not enough. Perhaps you need room for a growing family. The next step is to add the main hall, which it will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including space for two small bedrooms, a back room and a large dining area. Once you've built a main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You're now ha you, you now have ro room to add three more additional wings. If you decide, you still need more space. For each wing, wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving a total of nine possible additions. Remember, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. West Wing Bedrooms The bedroom addition is perfect if you have a family who needs more comfortable living quarters than the main hall affords. The bedroom has space for a master bedroom, plus two children's beds, as well as all the dresses, wardrobes, etc. that anyone could desire. This addition also includes a spacious exterior porch. West Wing, Greenhouse. Perhaps you are a gardener at heart. If so, the greenhouse provides room for planters where you can grow almost whatever you wish. Sheltered from Skyrim's harsh climate, tend and harvest your crops from the comfort of your own home. West Wing, Enchanter's Tale Tower. If your interests lie in the magical realm, this tower addition is for you. Conduct your research in privacy and comfort. Plenty of space for keeping your collections and artifacts organised, and the view from the tower is guaranteed to take your breath away. North Wing Storage Room. You simply need more space to store your many possessions and collections, but build yourself a storage room. They include port. They, this, the included porch can be connected to the porch on the east or west wings if you, if you build the bedroom or armory additions. North Wing Trophy Room. Are you a big game hunter who wants to show off your prizes? Trophy Room uh, provides space for displaying up to seven magnificent mountain specimens of your own choice, sure to amaze and impress your guests. North Wing Alchemy Laboratory. Perfect for the aspiring alchemist, this tower addition will give you plenty of, plenty of space and storage to home your craft in comfort. And when you need to break from brewing potions, enjoy the view from your tower roof. East Wing Armory. If you like nothing better than to spend a day hammering metal, or are simply a collector of armour and weapons, the armoury is for you. With, uh, with space for smithing, as well as plenty of room to display your, your martial collections uh, in style. The armoury is a poet addition to any house. The East Wing Kitchen. The kitchen provides everything you need to pursue the highest culinary arts. Tired of cooking everything in a pot over a fire? You can even equip it with a new fangled oven. East Wing Library. The library tower is sure to please those who value literature and space for all the books you could desire. You'll be able to enjoy your collection of books in style, or perhaps take a book to the tower roof and enjoy the view of your steading. Okay, I think we'll uh, we'll take this with us, I think. Uh, let's just uh, build some nails and stuff. All that. So yeah, I just build a lot uh, locks as well. The locks. And more iron fittings. 
and some hinges. There we go. Oh yeah, we haven't uh, planned it yet. Draft table. Small house layout. That is what we'll do. Just uh, do this stuff. Okay, we built the small house. I think we're going to need uh, to drop that for now. I think we're going to need probably need to buy more lumber for our house. Let's head off to buy some lumber then. Uh, there's, it gives you a location where you can buy some lumber, so that's what we'll do. So far, we haven't got much of a house. It's just a little, little, small house. I don't know how much, how big it will be by the time we finish our first building session. It will take us a while to build it properly. Uh, we don't, we don't have a spouse or anything, so we don't need to worry about. Uh, or kill. Or we don't have kids, so we don't need to worry about having anything like that for now. Like getting it all ready and quickly. You know, by the time we get we get a spouse and everything, I'm sure we'll be finished. I'm sure we'll be finished. It takes a. It, it will take a, a long time to build the house. Though I mean, when I I did uh when I did this with uh, another character, and he was a high level character, he was like level thirty. I did it with a character and it took a long time. It took a while to get everything I needed furnished. So don't expect it to be something that we'll do instantly. It will take some time to fully furnish. Oh Christ! Run. Run. Christ, my hands are cold. My hands are getting cold. Run away! I don't know why my hands are so cold. My hands are like really, really cold. It's probably because it's the UK. Like I'm putting my hands on my face now and it's like freezing. What is that? Let's have a look let's have a look in that, shall we? What is this? It's a boat of some kind. Don't, there's nothing in here, so got out before, we managed to get out before we drowned. And there's a uh, st a standing stone. Wonder what it, what, what it is. Lady stone. What does the lady stone do? Oh, more quick. St no, I don't think that's uh, that's for me. To be honest, I don't think that's quite per draft. I think he wants more of a. Uh, he doesn't. He, I don't. He doesn't quite know what he wants yet. We'll have to see what he finds. Half Moon Hall. Mill. Sorry, the Half Moon Moon Hall. Yeah, now, unfortunately, there is a bit of a glitch with this, so you have to pick the lock first, and then if you go into a house, I think it's a glitch at least, you have to pick the lock, go into her house, if I leave straight away, she'll come out with me, so I'm just going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that, I'm afraid. You're not supposed to be in here. And let's leave. She'll come out with us. 